Coming warmer weather means saying hello to what winter left behind in our yards and gardens. Five Owner Sides Keely Arthur has what you need to know to make the most out of the warmer days ahead with lawn and garden tips for spring. There is nothing quite like a beautiful North Carolina garden, whether it's the WRL Azalea Garden behind me or your own backyard. Follow these Consumer Reports tips for your best yard yet. Messy garden beds, dead plants, leftover fall leaves, sticks, and limbs. They're all here and need attention. Consumer Reports' Paul Hope's advice takes spring cleanup step by step. One of the first things you want to do in spring is make sure that all of your equipment is ready for the year. So lawnmower, string trimmer, leaf blower, all of those might need a tune up. Clear the debris before you mow and trim, especially any leftover leaves from the fall. You want to clear them before grass starts growing in the spring. That's because if you have a dense bed of leaves anywhere on your lawn, it's actually going to block out the sunlight and keep the grass from growing properly. Compost them, or better yet, mulch the leaves with your mower or tractor. The churned up clippings will feed your lawn and reduce any needed fertilizer. When you finally get to the lawn, consider keeping this in mind. No mow may. No mow may is a great way to let small flowering plants have a chance to grow and help out pollinators. Of course, it's not always an option to let the grass grow, especially in areas where ticks are a concern. There are less extreme alternatives. Instead, raise your mower's deck to cut your grass higher and extend the time between mowings. You can also find lawn seed mixes that include bee-friendly flowers. If you don't need a lot of lawn space, set aside a portion of your yard to grow just wildflowers or plant a pollinator garden. Finally, take in all your hard work and don't forget to enjoy the outdoor space this spring and summer. Keely Arthur, five on your side. Another pollinator friendly tip from Consumer Reports, avoid those chemical fertilizers and herbicides that can get absorbed into your soil or eventually enter the water and threaten the survival of pollinators, not only on your property, but also throughout your community. That is